The Headland Management Control, or HMC system, allows the operator to repeat a sequence of actions on a headland turn by using one button. Up to 30 steps can be recorded, including gear shifts, throttle, remotes, hitch, diff lock, MFD, and engage auto guidance. A sequence can be recorded sitting still or moving, and the tractor does not have to be moving to play back the sequence, providing the steps recorded are time-based. The first thing is to get to the menu screen in the Pro 1200 display. In the center of the armrest is a panel of gray buttons. Press the first gray button on the left, which will take the operator to the Pro 1200 display. Once there, go to the right side of the display. Find and press the HMC wizard, and the menu for completing an HMC sequence will be displayed. Let's review the symbols on the screen. Sequence name indicates the name of the sequence. Trash, where the deleted data not wanted is placed. Record, press this button to start a recording of a sequence. Pause, press to pause the recorded sequence. Save. Press to save a recording when it's completed. Add symbol. The plus sign is pressed when adding to the recorded sequence. Autoplay. Press to automatically play back the recorded sequence. Manual play. Press to manually play each step one at a time within the recorded sequence. Pause. Press to pause within the sequence while recording. Stop. Press to stop the playback of the sequence. Note. When recording an HMC sequence, having the Auto MFD and Auto Diff Lock buttons in the ON position will save from having to add them into the recorded sequence. The recording should begin coming out of the field. First, press the record symbol in the display, and a window will come up showing the record is on. Now the operator will begin recording the chosen sequence of events required in the recorded application. Below is an example of recording of a sequence of events. If using a three-point hitch in the sequence, raise the three-point hitch using the button on the multifunction handle. Activate the remote to raise the implement. Depress the step switch on the multifunction handle, which places a pause in the sequence at this point. Once the tractor and implement have come out of the headland, start the recording by pressing the step switch on the multifunction handle. Engage the auto guidance system from the multifunction handle. Lower the three point hitch using the button on the multifunction handle. Activate the remote to lower the implement. In the Pro 1200 display, press the stop record of the HMC, and the sequence will also be saved at the same time. Now press the play button on the Pro 1200 display screen and then depress the step switch to play back the recorded sequence. Note: Once the sequence is completed, the operator now has the ability to edit the sequence in the Pro 1200 display. The editing of the sequence involves the following steps. First, select the plus symbol on the screen, which allows the operator to add an additional function to the sequence. Next, the operator will click on the exclamation icon located to the far right. Push the icon and a new screen will appear. In this example, choose the rear remote and a second screen will come up. Now choose the second rear remote symbol and this will bring up the next screen. And here, select the raise remote symbol. Now the value screen will display where the operator will move the percent bar to establish the flow required for the application and then click OK. The final screen that comes on the display asks for the length of time it should require for the remote to raise the implement. First, delete the data in the box at the top and then punch in the time required to raise the implement. Note: Be sure to always click the proper button on the screen to save the information. To lower the implement, choose the rear remote and a second screen will come up. Now choose the second rear remote symbol and this will bring up the next screen. 
and here, select the lower remote symbol, and the next screen will ask to enable or disable the motor mode. In this example, select Disable the motor mode. Now the value screen will display, where the operator will move the percent bar to establish the flow required for the application, and click OK. The final screen that comes up on the display asks for the length of time it should require for the remote to lower the implement. First delete the data in the box at the top, and then punch in the time required to lower the implement. Note, be sure to always click the proper button on the screen to save the information. Once the additions have been added, move the additions into the located area desired within the recorded HMC sequence. To activate the sequence, push the play and the HMC sequence is ready to play back when the step button on the MFH is pushed. To edit or change the start time within the sequence of the remote raise or lower, press the white box to the right, which displays the seconds. Now a new screen will appear, and here delete the time data in the box and punch in the new time desired. Be sure to save the new data. To edit or change the distance of travel of the three-point hitch, press the hourglass, and a screen will appear. Press the distance symbol and enter in the distance desired. Be sure to save the new data. If after playback of the sequence with the changes applied, it's still not to the operator's liking, go back and re-edit the area and make the necessary changes.